for Imo Light is a, a new day because everywhere there is happiness in the land owing to the reaffirmation of His Excellency's uh, mandate and the mandate given to him by Imo people. What's your take on that? Sir? Uh, my take is to thank Almighty God because we cannot be going up, going down, going backwards and going forward. We have to be going forward because we have a lot of challenges in our state. Uh, mine is to take this opportunity to uh, still appeal to our brothers who went to court. They have right to go to court. Uh, I think enough is enough. They should uh, uh, say goodbye uh, after this uh, court of appeal and then come and join hands uh, with uh, the governor and then uh, let's move in more state forward. There's a time for everything. There's a time to play politics and there's a time to serve our fatherland. Our youths are crying, there is no job. If we continue to end, uh, you know, engage into endless distraction, uh, it is not the people on seat that will suffer. The masses will suffer. The anger will continue to wear us. Uh, the youths will continue to cry for job. Uh, if there are papers, the governor has to put his hand for things to continue to move. He will not have time to do that. He will be emotionally and physically destabilized and distracted. And uh, uh, we have dealt enough blow to the to Imo. This is the time to come together. I want to appeal. I want to beg. I want to reassure our people that uh, the governor uh, is highly experienced. He Understand that you will work with everybody. Uh, you can see me, in spite of uh, how busy I am uh, locally and internationally, I still find time to come here to live by example, to show our people that we cannot continue to play politics forever uh, so that we can take our state to the next level. With all the resources we have, both human and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the capital, uh, natural resources, there is no way we can not rank among the uh, in the state, economically speaking. Your Excellency, you've been seen across the South, South and South East, meeting with governors, state officials, informing them about the 2019 Ahajoko lecture series. What is there to expect from this year's Ahajoko, which, from all indications, will be a different Ahajoko altogether? Uh, the most important thing and the most interesting thing about this year's Ayahajoko is that it's going to mark the 40th anniversary of the Ayahajoko lecture series. The first Ayahajoko lecture was given on 30th of November 1979 by no other person than Professor MJC Echero. The 40th anniversary of this lecture will also be given on 30th of November 2019 exactly 40 years and MJCH accepted to come and give the 40th lecture he is going to trust trust what has happened not only in Ibo land but in the entire eastern region between 1979 and this time and provide solutions in way forward we cannot talk enough we must continue to talk we must continue to interact with our people we must continue to work together we must continue to synergize, and uh, it is an intellectual harvest. I hear Joko means harvest uh, in Igbo language. So we are going to do something extraordinary. We are taking it to the next level. You remember that the 30th anniversary of I hear Joko lecture, we brought um, uh, Chinua Chede uh, Gonabo to deliver that year's lecture, which was a book. Uh, this year, on, we are going to step forward. All the governors in the former Eastern region have indicated their interest to come, and I'm happy to say that they will come. That is why I'm even here. And uh, I also uh, thank the governor for taking the responsibility to revive the Ahajoko lecture series. You know, so it's going to be wonderful, and we expect all of you to be present. On a lighter note, Your Excellency, news actually, because um, uh, that has been my nature. You know, uh, it has been my nature to live uh, in line with the dictates of the time. I drive myself. People who know me know me that um, I don't go with the routine of uh, I'm a man of the people. Uh, even if I meet them, 
Jesus and I call Hakim. They will wave me and say, Ochina, what a good. That is where I live. And then uh, I drive myself uh, weekends when the roads are free. And then I go and do my shopping by myself. Uh, like that, I do my gardening by myself. You know, I'm into uh, my shoes. So I try to go around myself. At times I drive in the night when to see what is happening. 